Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. Controversial question. Is it possible to modify from Spanish non-lucrative visa to digital nomad visa while not working? Let's see the specific questions from Spain Guru's member. NLV modification to digital nomad. I know it's so early in this process, but has anyone talked to an attorney about modifying from NLV to the digital nomad visa? As promised, we don't work but would really like the option under the digital nomad visa. But it seems you have to have an existing online arrangement. Both my husband and I could easily arrange some online work, but we haven't worked since July because we came here on the NLV. It's kind of a catch-22. Just wondering if anyone has already addressed this issue, wondering if we can even modify under these circumstances. Digital Nomad is attractive as it also still seems to qualify for residency, which we need for citizenship. It would be a good package for us, just wondering if it's even possible. Let's see the answers from Spengu's community member. The first one. Okay, so two things. Number one. There's no problem with you already being here. You can apply from within Spain as long as you are not here irregularly. What people are getting confused on, there is the tax breaks incentives. Those you won't qualify for because you live in Spain within the past five years. But that does not mean you can't apply and get the visa. Still, you'll just pay higher taxes than the 15% they are offering to non-previous residents. Okay, so this is something that is not very clear. Okay, I want to make this point too because um, there are people who say that you're going to be paying a flat rate of 24%. Okay, so just take these numbers with a pinch of salt. Number two, unfortunately, the issue you're going to run into is that under NLV you are not allowed to work. But the digital nomad visa, Residencia, requires that you have been standing relationship either with your employer or clients, if self-employed, for at least three months before applying. Thus, in order to qualify for the digital nomad visa, you'd be violating the terms of your non-lucrative visa, and I don't think that would be approved. Next answer. So I went to the Balsels webinar earlier today and I asked them if you can switch from an NLV if you have a contract in hand, and they said yes but you don't get the tax incentives associated with the visa. If that is the case, then I'll be glad to take that option. Next one. Personally, I don't think you can switch because how can you be in a regular situation and at the same time prove you have been working for at least three months prior to the NV application? And that's a violation of your NLV conditions. Next one have to wait for all the details, but possibly some of the conditions would rule out switching from NLV, for example, the requirement to have been working remotely for one year immediately prior to applying, would seemingly rule out NLV holders as you can't work remotely and hold the NLV or not having held residency at any point in the previous five years. Okay, next one. It is possible you can transition from one to another given that you are in a regular position this is confirmed from the UGE, o Unidad de Grandes Empresas, the organism dealing with these applications in Madrid. I am preparing one for a client. And the final one. There is controversy around the fact that many people are working under non-lucrative visa and can provide a contract to fulfill the requirements of the Spanish Digital Nomad Visa. In case you were working remotely for a non-Spanish company under the Spanish non-lucrative visa, this is an article from Spain Guru. You can actually find the link in the video description below. Then, and still in theory, it would be feasible switching from NLV to Digital Nomad Visa as long as you comply with the Spanish Digital Nomad Visa requirements. And of course, this article and video is no legal advice and is based on internet research and the personal experiences of Spain Guru community members. If you need legal advice, Spain Guru can offer you uh, consultations with expert immigration lawyers. You can find them on spainguru.es on the top left menu, consultations, and then you can go to immigration. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es. You will find immigration lawyers. You will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. You will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators, and health insurances when you apply for 
non lucrative visa, when you apply for a golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Spain Group, yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.